Is it possible to win a game of standard where every single non-land card in your deck is a wrath? Let's find out. As you probably know by now, Wizards canceled standard rotation this year, and that's led to a little bit of weirdness. The other day I was working on some murders at Karlov Manor spoilers, and I saw the card No Witness for the first time. The card itself isn't very special, it's a twist on Depopulate, which itself is a twist on Wrath of God, but what is special is that both Depopulate and No Witness will be legal and standard at the same time. It's pretty obvious that when Wizards was designing No Witness, they expected that Depopulate would have rotated and this would be the replacement, but thanks to our current odd standard and the cancellation of rotation, both cards are going to exist in standard together. Traditionally in standard, there's usually something like two or three RAS legal in the format, although this number has started to increase recently, with Wizards focused on printing unique RAS for the commander form format like Farewell and Vanquish the Horde. When you add these two forces together, Wizards putting more rests than ever to support Commander, and Wizards randomly canceling standard rotation this year, the end result is something that has never happened before in Magic's 30 year history. There are currently not one, not two, not three, but nine rests, cards that have the text, destroy all creatures, or in some cases, exile all creatures, legal together in standard, even better, or probably worse in reality. Several of these rasts actually make creatures, like Sunfall makes an incubator token, White Sun's Twilight can make a bunch of toxic mites, even Invasion of Fiora can eventually flip into a creature. And this got me thinking, could it be possible to win in standard with a deck where literally every non-land card is a wrath? So I hopped over and looked at the standard metagame, and I think the answer just might be yes. So the nightmare for an all wrath deck would be one of two things, a draw go control deck that doesn't really play creatures or some sort of spell style combo deck. Thankfully, we don't really get storm decks in standard or anything. And in our current standard, draw go control isn't really a thing. If you look at the top tier decks, essentially every Every single one of them is trying to win by beating down with creatures, which means an all wrath deck might actually have a chance. Of course, we'd have to play best of one, because in best of three, too many opponents would just sideboard in disdainful strokes and negates and ruin our day. But in best of one, what if we just overloaded our deck with every wrath possible, play 36 wraths all together, toss in a couple of extra lands so we play like 63 total cards, just in case the game comes down to us trying to mill out our opponent by wrathing every turn until they eventually die by drawing with an empty library, and then just cast a wrath every single turn and either win by making some tokens with one of our wraths, maybe milling our opponent out by just wrathing every turn, or our opponent getting salty and throwing their computer through a window after this 17 wrath resolved. Is it actually possible for the first time ever in Magic that a deck that is literally all wraths could actually work? Let's jump into some games and find out on today's Against the Odds. Before we do, a quick reminder, if you need some rests of your own, you can snag them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. <laughs> Against the odds time, we are seeing what happens if you just play only wraths on your standard deck. What if literally every non-land card in your deck is a wrath? I kind of feel like this could possibly work. Oh, no. I uh, probably not gonna work against mono red on the play though. <laughs> mono, so our deck dreams of playing against creature decks. Mono red is uniquely tricky. It is the one creature deck that our deck doesn't really want to play because I swear to God, every dang card in their deck has haste, and that makes it much, much harder to uh, to get them with Raz. I think we might have a chance if we're on the play, but being on the draw, like. Next turn, we can path the peril, which is our fastest possible wrath. And we're probably going to be at like five life or something where a couple of haste creatures off the top or burn spells off the top are going to kill us. It was the other direction. We might be OK just because we would be able to be wrathing a turn earlier. Charming Scoundrel and a treasure and a faces to trigger prowess. And we get smacked down to seven. Well, we will play a Mishra's Foundry. Path of Pyrrhil. If we can somehow live long enough to White Sun's Twilight for a bunch to gain life, we might be okay. All right, another faces. 
Opponent passes. I mean, I guess we just play Urza, Urza Silex here. So we're dropping to four for sure? Silex is nice because it actually gets rid of more than just creatures. Play the land. Silex. Get rid of everything. Ugh, all right, that's haste. So the wicked roll would put us to one if we wrath. All right, opponent, wicked rolls hits us. Do we just attack in game two? I think, yeah. Let's get in with the fortress. Hit you game two, play another fortress. Are we dead? Down to two, opponent passes, okay. Well, uh, no burn. White suns for five, go up to seven, go down to six, get a bunch of mites. Oh, we gotta, We actually have a shot. Oh my God, we have a shot. One, two, three, four. Fire up the Restless Fortress. Field of Ruin, fire up the Mishra's Foundry. Go attacking with everything. Okay. Opponent plays with fire our face to the bottom. They drop to eight. Toxic up to five. I can't believe we're gonna win this with only wraths. Phoenix Jack and dead. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. If we beat Mono Red with this deck, uh, Standard's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is this is very much a meta game style deck. So I was looking at the decks in the meta. I was like, okay, what what can we theoretically beat with a deck that is only Ras? Domain check. All the mid range aggro decks check 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 check. Counter spell decks can be tricky depending on how many counters. Uh, Reanimator mid range sure we got a chance there. The one uh, the two archetypes I focused in on is like okay we're probably never gonna beat mono red because everything has haste and our wraths are all sorcery speed. So even if we wrath every turn they just like chip in for two chip in for three throw some burn spells we die. The other one is obviously control. If our opponent's playing just like I don't know all planeswalker control deck or something where they're not winning with uh, creatures and they're winning with like a bunch of planeswalkers. That also is challenging. Uh, all that to say, very surprised that we actually that we actually won that match. I was not expecting to be mono red on the play. Well, okay, this sounds pretty good. Assuming we draw like another land. Well, Mishra's Foundry, go. Well, I actually like a couple more lands. We're playing 27 lands in our 63 card deck because we want to play more cards than our opponent in case it comes down to milling out. We might just wrath and wrath and wrath until we mill our opponent out. Up the beanstalk, opponent draws. One of the cool things about this deck is, uh, I wonder if we should have not run out the Silex actually. Being able to blow up lands is kind of relevant in this matchup. Splunking, okay, we really just need to draw a land please magic gods please please okay oh it's caves well that's not a land oh boy hmm caves might be tough although the silex could be good if we ever get to do anything with it oh splunking number two we're gonna need to find a farewell probably or uh, the silex is kind of farewellish if we get to it about it gonna pass well okay not a land past the turn 60 27 lands 63 cards not being able to find land number four here i mean opponents playing more lands not the end of the world archangel of wrath opponents playing more lands is kind of okay because we can wrath them away the problem is we need to draw a land we really would like to urza silex well okay it's a land but it's sadly unfortunately painfully tapped that's not good. Yeah, we might miss we might have missed too many land drops for this one. Especially if our opponent can Leyline binding the Silex, we're kind of out of luck. Although I assume if they could have, they would have. Because if we draw an untapped blaze source, we can activate it right away. Well, let's see what our opponent's got. How about an Atroxa? Just playing Atroxa, that's fine. Some access. Down to 13. Archangel of Wrath. Well, okay, so we're at nine. The scary thing of being at nine well, I mean, we're definitely in a Silex. Still missing land drops. This puts our opponent down a land. Also gets rid of all of these up a beanstalks and splunkings and so forth, which is nice. And the angels. 
Uh, we will discard a Vanquish the Horde, I guess. Oh, we really need to hit more lands. We have a couple to populate, so we're not just gonna immediately die. Well, okay, play a Silex. If we don't, we're discarding into hand size anyway. Do some ramping, opponent, I dare ya. Okay, there's the Atroxa. Herd Migration, Sunfall, Archangel of Wrath, Leyline Binding. I mean, so part of the good news here is we have gotten through two Archangel of Wrath, right? Those are the direct damage spells. Okay, we find a land, which is good. The question is, do we Silex? If we don't, it's gonna get Besajude. But do we want it to get Besajude? Yeah, I think we just do it. Yeah, Silex. Put you down a land. Get rid of your Atroxa. Demolition field. Well, I mean, one, two, three, four, five. The upside of not drawing lands for so long is we still have seven, seven Wraths in hand. So not super scared of this herd migration. Okay, there's our Archangel of Wrath. The encouraging news here. So we go to five, we draw land, which is nice. Let's, yeah, let's just Invasion of Fiora. So our opponent's gone through three Archangel of Wraths. That means there's one more in their deck, but we're at five. So even if they Archangel, they can only put us to one. All right, there's a herd migration. That's gonna set up a nice sunfall. One of the reasons this deck works, sort of, maybe, is <laughs> so many of the wraths in this standard, not only are there a million, do we just destroy arena? Wow, Sunfall too good. Avert your eyes. Normally, I was thinking about this. The fact that this deck could even theoretically exist is wild. Normally in standard, there's like two Wraths or three Wraths, but because of this change to like three year standard and Wizards printing Wraths for Commander, there's like infinite Wraths in standard. There's enough that we can literally play only Wraths. Oh, come on. We're actually doing good in this game. Let us back in, let us back in. Sure, Pit of Offering, yes. Also, they played an Up the Beanstalk and a Splunking. We would not mind flipping this. We draw land. Huh, opponent has 33 cards. Urza Silex, blow it. Get rid of the Splunkings and so forth. I mean, I guess we can wait another turn. Actually, let's do it this way. One, two. Let's turn on, turn on this incubator. I assume this is gonna get an answer out of our opponent's hand. Play the land, go to combat, attack the invasion. All right. So there's a ley line binding opponent draws a card. Sure. Gets rid of the token. We will pass the turn. Next turn, there's a decent chance. We're gonna besage you, interesting. I mean, we have lands to get, so this is okay. Grab a planes. Uh, do we just do this now? Probably. One, two, let's blow up the cave. Oh, we have a lot of depopulates. <laughs> Opponents at 43. In theory, we can win by milling them out. Eventually, we're gonna gain a bunch of life with this White Sun Twilight as well. Pass the turn. What big bombs do we have this time? All right, Herd Migration draws a card. That's fine. Opponent passes. We will Urza Silex. And crack it. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, this is pretty good. We get the Splunking, we get the Up the Beanstalk, we get rid of a couple of our opponent's lands. We do lose our Invasion of Fiora, but that's fine. Yup, pulling it back down to six lands. Okay, another Atroxa. I mean, we can, we can Wrath all day. All right, Leyline Binding, Last Archangel up the beanstalk. So our opponent can hit us to one with the Archangel, but it doesn't kill us. Like as long as we can keep wrathing every turn. So opponent, ley line, herd migration, discards. Well, okay, let's play the land. Let's expel the interlopers, two zero. Atroxa two down. Opponent has 23 cards in their deck. Can we wrath them out of cards? That is, that is our hope. That is the plan. Can we wrath until they mill out? All right, there's the herd migration. This is actually pretty good for us. So now that they've herd migration, I think we just fire off this White Sun's Twilight, wrath the board, gain back five, make some mites. If we draw land even better, then we gain back six. And then we'll be definitely out of the Archangel danger zone. Vanquish the horde. Well, we're gonna we're gonna stay the course. Do we stay? Yeah, let's do it. We'll draw another one in the future. So White Sun's X5, blow up the beast. 
Go up to Ted, make some mites. Also, Pony's at 43 life, but uh, the mites don't care. Although I still think it's more likely if we win this, that we win by milling them out, most likely. Are we Archangeling? No. We draw a Path of Peril. Found it, 22 cards. <laughs> 21 cards. I can't believe this is working. <laughs> We're playing all Ras. <sighs> okay, that's gonna be an issue. All right, so we need to find a farewell. We need to find a farewell. Fortress, well, uh, let's fire up the fortress. How could they answer this? Ah, it's unlikely. All right, fire up the fortress. Takes one more. We're back up to 12, play the fortress. All right. Well, uh, let's find a farewell. Farewell would be sweet. Are we getting back Atroxa? We're okay with getting back Atroxa. They are. As long as they don't have a counter. One, two, three, four. I guess we have enough. Wow, look at all that action. Enough mana now that we can double depopulate to beat a counter. Opponent, Herd Migration, Leyline Binding, Atroxa. 17 cards. We draw Invasion of Fiora. How do we want to do this? Do we just Invasion, I guess? The upside is there could be a time when we want to only blow up Legends. Same with Expel. The Populate is going to make our opponent draw a card. Yeah, let's just Invasion. I've lost count of how many rats we've cast this game, but it is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up the Atroxa. If we can find a farewell to get rid of this virtue, I feel like that's gonna win us the game. Found it. Atroxa returns. Please take some cards. They don't appear to have any counters. Has our opponent realized that milling out is a concern here? We only have six rats left. All right, opponent takes a land. Opponent's down to 15 cards. Yeah, opponent still has more cards than we have Wraths at the moment. Also, like, uh, Sunfall, I guess, doesn't really do it, right? Because they have more Atroxes. Wow, can we actually do that? This would be hilarious if this worked. We draw a land. Yeah, let's just depopulate. And I think we're going to fire this up. Like, they can't Leyline Binding it, right? We will attack the Invasion, I think. Hit the Invasion for one. Gain a couple life. We don't really care about damaging our opponent, like... Okay, Leyline Binding. What are you getting, the Invasion? You can't handle land. All right, that's fine. Oh, Farewell. Farewell just finishes this game if we can find it. Like, as the game's going currently, it is possible that our opponent mill... Like, that we run out of Wraths before we mill our opponent out. These Depopulates are probably going to help. Do we just Vanquish? Are they ever going to stop reanimating Atroxa? You know what? Let's, uh, let's depopulate. Five rats left. Found it. Twelve guards. I mean, we're going to stay the course. We're going to fire up Relentless Fortress. We're all the way back up to 16. Boy, a farewell would be sweet. We'd also take uh, our last Urza Silex. That would be sweet. Found it. Getting back Atroxa. Our opponents realize they have to stop. They're revealing essentially their entire deck now, so they've stopped drawing with Atroxa. How do we lose this? The way we lose this is if we start if we start drawing a bunch of lands in a row, we could lose. As long as we keep drawing Wraths, we should be able to just Wrath them out. Let's Vanquish the Horde. Haven't seen this one yet. That's a new, I don't think our opponent's seen the Vanquish. Fire up the Restless Fortress. Do we just play a Ganjo? I mean, we're not going to win this game with damage. I don't think it matters. I was thinking of firing up the Mishra's Foundry, but I really don't think damage. There's no way we're going to deal 33 with our lands here. Let's hold on to it for a turn. There could be a world where we want to, like, get rid of the Archangel of Wrath or something. Uh, Atroxa. So opponent's down to 10 cards. We see their entire deck. It's a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. Bunch of stuff that our opponent probably won't even play because they don't want to draw cards off of Splunkings and up the Beanstalks. All right, another Virtue. Boy, farewell, 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 farewell. Can we find a farewell? Opponent passes. Ooh, White Sun's Twilight. Do they have a Wrath? Not that we know of. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, let's play the land. White Sun's Twilight for eight. One of the nice things about gaining all this life is we've gotten to the point where we're back up, we're all the way back up to 26. Just from Wrathing, that's all we've done is Wrath. Like, look at... <laughs> Our opponent's got to be losing it. They got to be losing it. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I believe we've cast 13 Wraths this game. Found it. Atroxa reveals the rest of their deck. Takes a Virtue. Seven cards left. 
Okay, Sunfall. I mean, this also exiles our opponent's board. They do get a 10-10. All right, another Virtue. How about a Farewell off the top? Or a Vanquish? Well, um, all right, fire up Relentless Fortress. Fire up Relentless Fort. Well, so we gain two, but we lose a land? On second thought, we're just gonna pass. I think we're just gonna pass, all right. So we are taking 10 this turn. But we're back up to 26, so that only puts us down to 16. Pelona gets to reanimate everything. Thankfully, you can't kick her. I think this is, we're getting to the point where this is gonna work, right? Pelona's got seven cards in their deck. We got five Wraths left. It's gonna take us like 20 Wraths, but I think we might <laughs> be literally the best deck in standard by only playing Wraths. <laughs> what a world, what a world that this works. I swear this is the first standard format in the history of Magic where playing literally all Rask could win a game. I think this is the first standard format in the history of Magic where you could actually have enough Rask to even build this deck. This is something that just didn't exist before. About it, combat attacks. Yeah, you got us. Down to 16. There's bad news, opponent. They can't see her hand. If they could, they'd probably be scooping. Um, Depopulate? Depopulate making our opponent draw a card here is actually hilariously an upside. Opponent's down to five cards. I mean, we've done it, right? Opponent has five cards, we have five Wraths. I don't think there's any possible way our opponent can kill us now. They have three Virtue of Persistence. They get an Atroxa every single turn, but apparently a Wrath every turn. <laughs> Beats an Atroxa into Archangel of Wraths every turn. <laughs> Found it, grab those cards, just snag them. Snag him and admit defeat. Pawn it. No, they're gonna they're gonna stick it out. <laughs> this shouldn't be a thing. This shouldn't be a thing. This should not be a thing. Do you have any guesses, opponent, at what we might do this turn? Do you have it? Oh my god, there's the farewell. I don't even know if we want to cast the farewell now. I think we just depopulate again. <laughs> Wrath number 17, maybe? I think it's 17. We got two cards left? Three cards left. See, this is why we're playing those two extra cards. <laughs> Three extra cards, just in case. <laughs> Found it, gets them all back. Sadly, we're out of Depopulate, so we can no longer... Are they gonna stop getting back Atroxa? No, they're still gonna get it back. I was wondering if they'd stop getting back Atroxa so they wouldn't have a multicolor creature <laughs> to draw off Depopulate, which has turned into a big drawback for our opponent. This might be the greatest game in the history of, uh, of Standard. What Wrath have we not used yet? We gotta give... What have we not cast? We Oh, there's Double Farewell. Okay, so we haven't... One, two, three, four, five, six. Have we cast Expel the Interlopers? I don't think we've cast Expel the Interlopers. Okay, let's let's uh, let's give Expel its time to shine. Zero. <laughs> Our phone. <laughs> I can't imagine how tilting this has to be. I mean, I can't imagine, and it's glorious, but all we've done is wrath every single turn, <laughs> and we're beating. <laughs> no card draw, no planeswalkers, no creatures. All we're doing is wrathing and we're the best deck in standard. <laughs> Look at this beautiful graveyard. <laughs> oh, this is the best. This is the best day ever. Found it. One card left in their library. Is it time to... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe our- Oh, I can't say good game back. I'm so sorry, opponent. I'm not just a jerk. And then uh, we'll just cast Farewell as the flex. Because I haven't seen that one yet either. Gonna hit the Silex. Sure. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Oh, the greatest game ever. I think we cast almost 20 Wraths. Look at this. Look at this. One. We got to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight on the battlefield, but we didn't activate it. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I believe we cast 17 Wraths this game, and we have four more left over at hand. <laughs> And we milled them out. They did their thing and it didn't matter. Oh no. Watch this deck be real. Did we break it? Oh, I hope not. People will be so mad if this deck's real. We are playing some more uh, 36 rats in standard. Seeing how many opponents. Uh, ooh. Rage scoop. <laughs> what happens if you just play a wrath every single turn? <laughs> what a weird world we live in with the rotation being canceled. Blood Tithe Havista. We do need to draw uh, land that makes colors of mana. Opponent. Unfortunately, our opponent's on the play here, which does make it harder. Like if they drop a pre, ooh, Oni called Anvil. Okay. Well, we're gonna need to find 
Hmm. A wrath that deals with non-creatures. Oh, all right. All right, if we draw, if we draw black source here, the wrath would actually be pretty good. Oh, all right, no luck, okay. Well, that is the one challenge of this deck because if we don't hit our land drops or draw too many colorless lands, it can go bad. Run, all right, things getting worse. Yeah, we really needed that Path of Peril last turn. I guess if we get it this turn, we're still like maybe okay. The thing is we need to get rid of the artifacts so they don't have a easy Oni Call Anvil target because now we're taking three a turn from Oni Called Anvil on top of the damage. And Oni Called Anvil doesn't get wrapped away. Oh, this might be a loss. This might be a loss. Oh, that is a swamp, okay. Well, there's, there's hope. There's hope in Whosville. No, you're not sacking to draw cards. No, no, no. Oh, all right. Well, we're down to seven, opponent draws two. Well, we got rid of the Vron, which is something. Yeah, Sack is tough. Decks that can win without attacking are obviously, or without creatures, are obviously gonna be a challenge. Ugh. Another Blood Tithe. Yeah, we need to find, we need to get to the Farewell, basically, before we die. And death is coming soon. Seriously? Another Vron? Play the land. Oh, we have to do this. It feels so bad. Because this leaves us open to our opponent having a a way to sack their creature. But we need to get another white source for next turn in case we draw land for farewell. And then we can Path of Peril. So grab a planes. Path of Peril. Wipe the board again. We take two because of Ron. Well, land farewell. That's what we need. Opponent swamp. Ooh, Urbrass Forge. Okay. Well, we're okay. Land, <laughs> land farewell or literal immediate death. Oh, that doesn't do it. Land doesn't do it. Um, I think we're dead. I guess technically, well, no, we're literally dead, right? They can sack the anvil. Yeah. Well, yeah, not hitting the land drops, a problem. I mean, and that's the thing about this deck, is hilarious that it is that it actually works. Uh, there are matchups that where it's gonna be bad. We talked about that before. Like there, there are just gonna be matchups where it's like, okay, we just aren't gonna be able to do anything. Control is the biggest one of those. I don't think that Racto Sack is as bad. Our opponent had a really good hand for the matchup with the quick anvil in double Vron. Uh, so they got in a lot of non-combat damage and then we just, <sighs> Didn't hit the Ras. I think we actually have to mulligan this. I think these Mishra's Foundries are necessary, but boy, drawing a million of them is frustrating. White Sun's gotta go bottom, because that's the most expensive of the Wraths. Well, we got three Wraths. Should we get to them? Oh boy, we're doing this again. Okay. So, opponent, we know what they're up to. They're playing Atroxes. We already played this deck once and beat them. We'll see if we can do it twice. One of the upsides of playing only Rast is uh, we kind of just shut off our opponent's removal. Like, nothing to remove, so. Opponent Forest. And passes. Well, I guess we Murex so we can start making tokens. About it. Herd migration. Sure. Well, we're up to up to five Rast in hand. Well, this might be another mill em out kind of matchup. Once the Atroxes start to fly, it's hard to actually kill the opponent, but... We need the Urza's Silex. That's actually one of our best cards against the ramp deck. White Suns is also not the worst. All right, so we're up to five lands. Five lands, six rats. So far, we've technically drawn more rats than lands, which I guess makes sense. I think we have more rats than lands in our deck, slightly. Ooh, about it. Boom, take one, untaps. Well, I don't think we're dying anytime soon. All right, there's an Archangel of Wrath. Ooh, opponent's missing lands? All right, this is actually kind of good. So we can Mirex. We draw another Mirex. Well, let's just play the Mirex, and this is where Expel the Interlopers is actually pretty sweet, now that we know how it works. Because <laughs> we get to uh, keep our might behind and wrath the Angel. All right, up to two poison counters. Found it. Archangel of Wrath, gonna double kick it this time. Sure. I think we want to hold on to the farewell for now. So I think we just, yeah, let's just invasion of Fiora. Sweep them away. All right, so opponent gets to Atroxa mana next turn. Atroxa doesn't really matter too much. 
All right, we draw another expel the interloper as well past the turn i don't even know if flipping this is that helpful i don't even know if we bother to try we'll see we're gonna make murex tokens but it might be better just to keep going face bound at land there's the atroxa i mean we have some answers for that opponent herd migration all right nothing that we really care about wow no lands that is wild okay that's that's all well and good opponent finding card draw is also good for us because we're probably gonna try to win by milling them out um expel the interlopers get rid of the atroxa and i think we just go face yeah i mean we're just gonna we're gonna try to kill him we're gonna try to kill him i think like even if we flip this it's just gonna get wrathed away right or our opponent's gonna kill it so i don't think it does much well i feel like we're in pretty good shape opponent island herd migration oh you get to make a bunch of body wow they played it second so they didn't draw an extra card our opponent's actually afraid of milling out well let's see if we can make this fear justified the question here is do we fire off the white sun's twilight or do we expel the interlopers opponent discarded to populate which probably means they have another wrath in hand i would think let's well, white suns go up to 23 make some mites this kind of forces our opponent to wrath i think all right there's a sunfall draws a card yep and invasion of zendikar opponent's gonna thin the deck a bit well one two i think we fire up the foundry opponent's at 29 so now i think we actually do attack the invasion of fiora uh play the tap land past the turn so we still have five rast in hand <laughs> including oh you know what we really want what we really want is uh urza silex urza silex would get our opponent so good because they're ramping pretty heavily and that puts our opponent down to six lands all right there's an archangel yep going to flip an invasion of zendikar sure 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 I don't even know if we want to kill the up the beanstalk. I don't know if we want to kill it or if we want to keep it in our opponent's hand for uh for milling purposes. It might actually be better just for them to to have it stuck in uh stuck on the battlefield. Like I don't know if they want to draw that many cards. That might actually be bad for them to draw that many cards. Well, let's make him might. Oh my god, one, two, oh, that's so incredibly good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The question is, do we do it now or do we wait? Actually, let's expel the interlopers. And then I think we can actually fire up the foundry and try to flip this invasion of Fiora. Okay, so they can leyline binding the invasion. They can't hit the foundry. Wow, they hit the might? Okay. Uh, well, yes, we would love a Marchesa. All right, opponent. <laughs> Our Wrath is now a Marchesa, somehow. Oh, my goodness, up the Beanstalk. See, here's the thing, like... Do we want to Wrath away all these up the Beanstalks, or do we want the up the Beanstalks to stick around to speed up the milling? Heard my... Like, with our opponent drawing this many cards, they're going to mill up pretty quick. Yeah, run it out. It is tempting, though, to Urza Silex because we get rid of so many lands. Well, uh, all right. I guess it's, uh, I guess it's our turn to Sunfall. Yeah, cast some big stuff, opponent. Cast some big stuff. You can, you can do it. Archangel Wrath. That's fine. Still got five rats left over. Oh, they're gonna flip their, they're gonna flip their dork again. So I think what we wanna do is give our opponent a couple more turns of drawing cards, let them ramp as much as possible, get a lot of lands out of their deck, and then just get them with the Silex and get rid of everything. And that hopefully just puts the game away. Land. Oh my God, oh my, they, our opponent has no fear. I don't think our opponent understands what's happening here. These up the beanstalks are good for us now. Uh, so we're gonna play a land. We're gonna cast one, two. Let's first field of ruin. I wonder if our opponent even how many lands they even have left. Land check, land check. This also forces our opponent to thin their deck if they have a land, which is a step closer towards milling out. Wow! <laughs> 
<laughs> and I thought this was supposed to be the best I can standard, but it just can't be. It can't be 36 Wrath, the ultimate meme. Yeah, we broke it. Quick close change and uh, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> to do some more wrathing, only wrathing. Can we keep this? Only two lands. We got a lot of wrath. You know what? This should be fine, right? As long as we hit like a few lands, this end is kind of what we want. <laughs> the biggest risk of this deck. I mean, there's obviously, me oh boy. Oh, okay, planes, that's actually fine. Uh, okay, that's a land. We'd prefer colored mana, but that's that's okay. That's okay. We're heading in the right direction. The biggest risk is matchups, but the second biggest risk outside of hitting the unwinnable matchup is uh, not drawing lands because it's not like we can find lands. We're not ramping into them or anything. I imagine a Celesnia creature deck should be good for us if we hit our wrath or hit our lands. Opponent passes to populate. Well, Urza Silex. We need one white source, a single white source, and we're off to at least our first two wraths. Opponent planes. Would you like to besage you this Urza Silex opponent? Goes attacking. Kalen triggers. Draws a warden of the inner sky. Oh, magic gods. A land for the land gods, please. Spawn it. Oh, we get him so good if we draw. Oh, magic gods. You were supposed to give us land number four and it was going to make white mana. Uh, okay. Well, this might be going poorly. We did say the risk is that we don't draw the lands and that risk seems to be realized. We have 27 lands in our deck. Magic God's opponent gets in with the Kellen. Plaza of Heroes. Are you gonna mill it? They are. We don't wanna lose to this matchup. Losing is fine. There's gonna be matchups that we lose, but we don't wanna lose to just a random creature deck. That's our that's our dream. This is the matchup that we exist for. <laughs> this is where, look at the, one wrath, two wrath, three wrath, and land. <sighs> Are we going to be discarding Rast to hand size? Next turn, if there is a next turn. Well, this is annoying. Land on human. Big attack. I mean, we can't afford to fire up a Mishra's Foundry. Opponent draws a Copper Co. Vanguard. Well, this is it. I, uh, we probably have a single turn to draw an untapped white source. If we get super lucky, maybe two turns. All right, that is a white source. Destroy, destroy, destroy. So our opponent could sack like Plaza of Heroes to save the Kellen. Do we even sack this or do we wait? Let's depopulate. The reason to depopulate here is Thalia. So if our opponent, wow, they didn't even sack it. So if our opponent sticks to Thalia, we can't cast depopulate, but we can Urza Silex. Plus, our opponent has more lands than us, so there's a chance we hit some of their lands at some point. Baird, sure. You know what dies to a wrath? That thing. Another land. We want to just keep hitting a land every turn. Vanquish the Horde. Here's the Silex. Wrath your board. We still need at least one more land. Once we get one more land, we turn on two more uh, wraths. Lunark Veteran. Two more lands, we turn on all the wraths. Well, this is awkward. You know what we do here? We just make a couple might tokens, gain a couple life to get more creatures on the battlefield to turn on the Vanquish the Horde while we're waiting to draw lands. I'm pretty sure if we can draw two more lands, this hand is gonna be unbeatable for our opponent. The mites can't block, unfortunately. Does not get to grow the hopeful initiate. We take two, that's fine. Wow, considering how slow we started, we're actually not in that bad of a spot. Well, we will play the Murex. We'll go to combat. We'll do some attacking. We're going to poison you, opponent. Here comes our mites. Do we even wrath this turn? We're at 10. Yeah, I think we can afford to pass. I think we can just pass and, like, make another mite. Our opponent, I think they're realizing <laughs> what's up. They're trying to, like, not dump their entire hand and get blown out by one wrath. But by not dumping their hand, they're not pressuring us to use our wraths. Like, they're only hitting us for two. Two is not a lot. Well, we will Murex make a Mite. Oddly, like, if our opponent keeps doing nothing, we're kind of just winning this race. As hilarious as that sounds. Up to five poison. Is there a world where we don't Wrath again? We'd have to discard the hand size. You know what? I think we just Sunfall. This has the upside of giving us a potential 5-5 five, five at some point to you. These rats are wild. It is, this deck should not exist. We talked about it in the intro, but this deck should not exist. And now that it does exist, it should not be working. Land. All right, Mistress Foundry, that is a land. So we will play a land. 
we will... I mean, we've reached the point where we're depopulating a single hopeful initiate. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, here comes beatdowns. <laughs> Hit ya. Alright, get lost. I mean, how many rats? One. How many have we cast so far? Two, three, only five. Alright, opponent bared. <laughs> I'm almost starting to feel bad. Our opponent just keeps slamming. Slamming their things into our unbeatable things. Uh, let's play a field of ruin. So Baird only hits us for two? How risky is... Eh, I really don't want to lose Mistress Foundry. I also don't really want to wrath this turn, though, for just a Baird. Let's just pass. I think what we want to do is destroy the Plaza of Heroes. So our opponent can't use that to protect something. And then probably make a might. Opponent's down to four cards. I mean, we have more Rast than our opponent has cards in hand. And I'm back out. All right, that's going to let our opponent make more dorks. The good news is uh, we have a we have a few Raths. Opponent going to hit us for three. Not going to fire up a land. All right, makes another token, which just reduces the cost of our Vanquish the Hordes. Let's blow up this plaza. All right. Opponent's gonna sack it, which puts us down a land, but that's fine. We had to get rid of it. Megamite. Vanquish the Horde. Fire up a Mishra's Foundry. Play the Mirix. Sack the map. Hit you for two. I mean, we're gonna do this. This is actually happening. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're at the point where our opponent is very close to 0% to win this game. Look at this hand! Like, what are they supposed to do? Opponent, wow, opponents. Are we giving up, opponent? Have we given up? Well, uh, we will play Amerix. We will... Actually, one... Let's make one of these now. One, two, three. Make a Amerix token. Actually, no. Ah, uh, we don't have enough mana. We're just going to double Amerix token. Our opponent's at five poison. So eventually, these Amerixes are going to get them. Our opponent's just got the fear. You can tell, like, they have things in their hand, they just know if they play them. This deck has to be so demoralizing to play against. It has to be. <laughs> it has to be one of the worst. <laughs> How many people will we make quit magic this episode? That's a land, that's good. Found it. Up to 12 poison. Um, well, let's, uh, let's crack a map. Are we going to win this game with six Wraths left over in hand? Path of Peril. Uh, I don't even think we need that. Is there a way we could die to this Lunark Veteran? I don't think so. We have Mishra's Foundry, so if something crazy happens, we can fire him up to Chump Block. But, I mean, opponent doesn't have the choice to keep waiting. Like, if our opponent keeps waiting, we just might, might. Yeah, I mean, get in there. If our opponent keeps waiting, we just might, might poison you to death. <laughs> ah, ossification. <laughs> <laughs> on a Mirix fight. Okay, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Opponent's gonna pass. Wait, doesn't this leave you dead? Whoa! Arena! Never trust the auto shuffler. Okay. It should have left our opponent dead. Instead, Arena decided to, uh, yeah, tap all the Mirixes for no reason. All right, all right, all right. I guess we should have paid attention to that. Is there a way we can die? I don't think so, past the turn. We should have just won right there. Oh, our opponent's much higher ranked than us too, and opponent, <laughs> opponent, this deck should not, oh my God, this deck should not work. <laughs> what are we doing? Why? Why is this a thing? And why do we keep winning? Is this a legit strategy? Is it actually legit just to play every Wrath? Are we in a world where Wraths are so prevalent and so powerful that you don't even need to play anything else? You just play every Wrath and you're gonna win? It's kind of feeling that way. It's kind of, like, I'm sure, we, I mean, we lose sometimes. I'm not trying to say this deck's unbeatable or anything. No, 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 no. Like, we do lose, but this has worked about a million times better than I ever 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 in a million years would have guessed like literally i don't even know i don't even know what to say let's put the white suns to the bottom the only downside is we once again have a two lander and that's almost how we lost last game is by just not having enough lands on the other hand our opponent appears to be a selesnia gamer which is uh good news for us i think opponent cammy cammy whammy mm-hmm well play the land and i guess we just path of piro all right, lands. We need, we need, we would 
take a land for the next four turns, honestly. Ozolith, sure. That's not a land. Well, we will pass. We probably could chip in for two with Mishra's Foundry, but I don't think it's necessary, worth it. Pound it, Plains. Generous Visitor. And Spirited Companion, double up the encounters. Okay, okay. I mean, the end game here, I think, is getting to fare well eventually. All right, there's a Mishra's Foundry. Do we Wrath? So we'll kill the Generous Visitor, but our opponent can get back the Kami. Yeah, let's, uh, let's wait one more turn. There's no guarantee we can Wrath again next turn. We need one more mana to turn on the Expel the Inner Loopers. All right, Naturalist. I don't think we're going to die this turn. I hope we're not going to die this turn. Although, because of this Ozolith, our opponent is getting in a lot of... All right, Weaver of Harmony, counter. Machigo's... Oh, my God, Machigo's Reign of Truth. Okay. Well, maybe we can die this turn. Maybe we should have Wrath. Nine. We're taking 14. Oh, God, that is a lot. All right, land. We need a land. We need a land. Farewell. Well, uh, the populate blow them up. You get to draw a card, and you get your thing back from the graveyard. Well, this is the this is the moment of truth. If we draw land, especially two lands, we should be okay. If we do not draw land this turn, we almost certainly die. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, our only somewhat realistic play is make a couple mites that can't block. If our opponent has enchantments, though... Okay, grow it. Opponent attacks. All right, land. Untap land. Untap land. Untap land. Oh, Murex counts. Murex counts. This is actually pretty good. So we get to play the Murex. We get to expel the interlopers. Choose two as the number. Blow up our opponent's stuff. Keep the mites. Hit ya. Poison ya. Oh, okay, we need we need one more land for farewell. We need one more land for farewell to really put it into opponent Cammy. And gonna add some counters. I mean we can We can blow it up again. Opponent. Urza Silex. Well, um expel the interlopers. Choose two. Wrath it. Poison ya. This time they don't get it back because an enchantment didn't die, which is nice. We're still in a sketchy spot if we don't draw one more land. Opponent land. Oh, do we get to turn off? And we draw the land? Oh, goodness. Okay. So we get to play the land. Hit you with the mites. Up to six. Play Urza Silex. Pass the turn. Naturalist. Yup. Opponents also has six in, uh, poison counters. I think they have ossification in hand. I feel like this is an ossification, and they keep thinking, oh, do I have to spend this on a mite? And they really don't want to spend it on a mite. But they, they keep thinking, is this the turn I got to do it? Is this the turn I got to do it? Is this the turn I got to do it? You can see it flickering. It's, uh, look at the lands. It's, yeah, okay. <laughs> it is ossification. This is the turn our opponent decides they need to get rid of a mite. Uh, how many wraths have we cast? One, two, three, four. Well, this one wasn't a wrath, actually. One, two, three, four. We had to cast this just to uh, make a couple mites. So, one, two, three, four. We've only cast four, and this one's on board. I think the time has come. Is this an artifact? Oh. So, if we blow this up, they get this back again. We can farewell. Maybe we just leave the Ozolith? You know what? We have another farewell. All right, let's farewell. Oh, this is hilarious. Enchantments, graveyards. This is an enchantment. So we get to keep our might, keep poisoning you, and we get rid of the recursive thing. <laughs> Your pot's on fire, buddy. Your pot's on fire. Opponent passes. We draw, you guessed it, a wrath. Poison you. <laughs> Up to eight past the dirt. Did we actually break it with 36 wraths? Oh, no. If this is... If this is a deck that people start playing, people are going to be so angry. People are going to lose it. So we need a Wrath that lets us kill the Visitor, but not our Mites, and we get to win right now. Which I guess would be... Expel, probably. Schwamp. Well, uh, play the Schwamp. We are at a low enough life total that we do need to Wrath here. Hit ya. Opponent gonna block. Nine poison. Invasion of Fiora. We haven't seen this one yet. Let's blow up all the creatures. Pass the turn. <laughs> we still got three rats left over, too. We are not close to being out. Katilda. Put some counters on it. Indeed. Opponent passes. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, vanquish the horde? Blow him up? Here go. <laughs> Are we done yet, opponent? Are we done? Are we done? Commune with the spirits. Gonna go dig it. We do want to hold on to this farewell in case they find hallowed haunting. If they found... Ooh, Calyx. Okay. If they find hallowed haunting, farewell is one of our ways we can actually get rid of it. Although, I guess, also the Ursa Silex does it. Opponent land. Get that Katilda back. I mean, how do you do it? All right, opponent's just gonna do it. I think this is where our opponents reach the give up stage of the game. Uh, we have seven lands. They have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go down a land. That's fine. Urza Silex. Uh, decline. Two, three, four, five, six lands saved. Opponent. <laughs> how do you feel about a wrath? This is like playing commander against Crib. I swear. Uh, all right, everything's gone. Play the land, pass the turn. We need one more poison counter, one. Which basically means we need one turn of our opponent not drawing a creature and we can make a might. Oh, play the foundry, pass the turn. All right, opponent, do you have an answer to the mighty might? Found it, passes, uh, make a might? Untap, go to combat, swing. <laughs> Life is good <laughs> for us. Our opponents, maybe not so much, but uh, how many? How many rests do we need that game? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, this one was an arrest, so five, and then six in the graveyard. It felt like way more than that. Did we really only cast six rests? Oh, we exiled the graveyards. Oh, we cast way more than that. Yeah. Well, uh, just keep wrathing. Just keep wrathing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's just keep doing that. So what do we learn about playing only Wrath in Standard? Can a 36 Wrath deck actually work? And shockingly, the answer is, yeah, it works way better than it should. So we went 8-8 eight and eight with the deck overall for exactly a 50% win rate, which is already way better than I would have guessed. I would have guessed like 20% or something. Like, just the concept of only Wrath in Lands sounds like it should really almost never work, but it actually works like half the time. And it's actually even a little better than that because we closed things out on a 5-1 run, which I guess means I was somehow getting better at playing only Wrath the more I played the deck so i will say it's kind of shocking that this deck even exists we already talked about that in the intro like if it wasn't for rotation being canceled you shouldn't even have enough wrath to be able to play an all wrath deck so it's a weird quirk of the fates that this deck is even possible it's never been possible in magic's history for 30 years and then the meta kind of lines up with it because we could be in a format where like blue white controls the best deck in the format and then we would have like no shot with this deck because we just never beat the control deck I think Mono Red is actually probably our hardest matchup in current standard, even though we did beat it uh, in the video, but it's very tough because they have so many haste creatures and burn spells, but really it's like this weird quirk of fate that rotation got canceled, Wizards loves printing Wrath now because of Commander, so we actually have almost exactly the right amount of Wrath to build a full deck of them, and then the standard meta ended up in a place where everyone's trying to beat down with creatures, so a Wrath that can actually succeed, so we're in this very strange world where I think you can actually be competitive in best of one. Don't try this in best of three. It's going to go horribly. But in best of one with a deck that literally only plays Ras. So that's 36 Ras. It really shouldn't work, but it actually kind of does. That's how it gets the odds for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our opponents. I'm sure throwing their laptops out the window and smashing their monitors after the 17 Ras resolve. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Looking for even more magic? Well, check out the video where we taught Arena Zoomers about Necro, or maybe the one where we looked at the best spell from every year Magic the Gathering.